Greetings, faculty, staff, alumni, friends, family, and most importantly, the illustrious class of 2020. My name is Stephen Campbell, and I come to address you all with words that I hope will impact the lives of many. Here we go. Well, 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 it's finally over. I'm officially going home today. It's 12.45 a.m., and I'm doing push-ups because I'll be going to a halfway house in just a few hours. I feel good. Better yet, I feel great. After almost a decade, nine and a half years to be exact. At first, I didn't believe it when a correction officer called my name. It was so surreal. It was about five o'clock in the evening. You knew somebody was going home. This day was different though. I heard my bunk number, but didn't accept the reality of it until three other inmates told me that they were calling me. Everything slowed down except my heartbeat. I stayed as calm as possible. However, I turned red and all of a sudden got hot. A slight anxiety combined with the shortness of breath I dreamed of this day coming for a long time. Now it was finally here. I am happy and proud of myself of the way I held it all together, mentally, physically, spiritually, and emotionally. Now it's showtime. And I, I plan on exhibiting great strength, willpower, and putting on an A1 performance. One plus one equals two. Stick to the plan. That was written on March 2nd, 2016. Malcolm X said, education is the passport to the future. For tomorrow belongs to those who prepare for it today. In 2007, I was sentenced to 11 years. I could not help but to feel despair, devastation, and defeat by my current circumstances. Just turning 20 years old, life as I knew it was over. After about a year of wallowing in my own self-pity, I began to take accountability for my life. I made a commitment to myself for my growth and development and to obtain my GED. This new path I was on led me to reading several books, enhancing my vocabulary, and to my surprise, acquiring a paralegal degree. Unsure where this quest of self-knowledge was going to lead me, positioning myself upon release to win was the focus. Once released, my educational preparation was quickly recognized through an honest conversation with my case manager at a halfway house. He recommended me to a program called The Best Chance that allowed individuals such as myself an opportunity to embark on a career path. Ultimately, this program led me to enrolling in Goldman University. It is May of 2016, and I am struggling with reacclimating re myself into society. This first semester, presented itself with a whole new set of challenges. Halfway through the semester, I was faced with the personal tragedy where I lost my little brother to his fight of cancer. At that point, I was certain that pursuing my education was not the right time. It was not until I was greeted by the loving support of the Goodman community who encouraged me to continue my higher education and to my amazement, I earned a spot on the dean's list. Due to my semester's performance, Goodwin University offered an additional semester, which equaled in a total of 30 credits. That support did not stop there. Goodwin then convinced me to pursue my associate's degree. This is when I fully committed to my educational journey. There's always going to be distractions 
or something looking to derail you from the sidelines. It is up to you to stay the course and reach your target, thus making your dream a reality. Nipsey Hussle said, there's nothing more important in this world than a focused drive. Now while I stand here in front of you today, I can proudly say I'm a recipient of my bachelor's degree. I want to share a personal, authentic side of me. Here's a spoken word poetry. Draw within. Everything you need is inside the cocoon, which is you. Tap in to find the strength and creativity to grasp the lessons, to transcend you to a higher plane. Use insight plus intuition and watch as you begin to ascend. Allow your mental agility to protect your energy as you maneuver around and through all the senseless activities just looking to drain your energy. Allow your peaceful serenity to multiply the fruits of the seeds you've sown. It's like combining the elements to create an intense synergy. So keep grinding, and before you know it, you'll be the one that everyone looks at in amazement and admires how beautifully you have grown. To my graduating class of 2020, I want to salute you all for your hard work, dedication, and most importantly, the sacrifices made to not only continue, yet to complete this phase of your educational journey. I will part with this. Your decisions will always echo into the future. Just make sure those decisions echo in the direction of making a positive impact for the generations that will follow behind us all. Congratulations. Mm -hmm.